Okay, so here's what's going on with the 30. Um, here's my uh, Anubius. And all the leaves are growing. Same thing, just getting taller. This one right here shot up. This is a brand new leaf. And it shot up higher than the rest of them. So I'm pretty proud of that. And I believe it's due to the new light. So that's a new thing. Um, all kind of asexual reproduction going on with the, uh, the Java fern. All up and down that leaf. Everywhere, pretty much. Um, so much java fern, but yeah, I got a lot of that. Um, the tall plant was cut down and made to these little bushes to cover up the CO2 reactor, and it was all done. See, it made all CO2, but it's just running out, so that'll be done over. Um, I salvaged out what was left of the the fox tail fern, or the, um, the fox fern, or no, it was, what was it? The peacock fern. So I salvaged out the rest of that. This is the same thing from the plant. I separated the tall stalks, so they're there now. And um, all my fish are doing good as usual. Um, so that's basically the tank. They will be getting a new stand, an enclosed stand, like a 30 gallon, but this one will be a bit cheaper made, being that they want 200 for one for this tank, and I just can't do that, so. You get one for 80 by Petco, it's in close stand as well, but that will be done for it. Right now it's sitting on this one, this ugly stand to come with, so. And these wood will be plastic dipped in black, so. So along with the crickets, um, breeding, yeah, that's not working. Um, I have a few dying off, I don't know why they're dying off. I really don't have much explanation for it. But, um, yeah, I get got quite a bit down there just dead and so I'm gonna be going out and buying a few more but um only thing I did different was put the glass panels up here at the top but they're still getting air through here through there so it's kind of it's kind of weird how I just put the glass panels here and they're dying but now I can afford to get new ones and I'll just throw them out being the hell needs live so that's the crickets, CO2 reactor, you know, that's basically all I just understand, so let's go to the saltwater tank. The saltwater tank is a little foggy because I just got to clean the algae off and I was thinking about making a video right after my cleaning, so that's it. Um, corals are sort of mad, sort of, you know, kind of, sort of, I don't know, but um, the sand bed's always being moved by the goby. He's hiding somewhere, being that just did maintenance, like I said. Clownfish is a little nervous. The bluefish is hiding, so um, the devil damsel's hiding. But um, I got the um, king of tree. It's it's closed up now, but usually it's huge. It's maybe doubled in size. Um, so fragging coming soon to fit, which is already fragged itself. I don't know if it'll zoom in. Maybe on the spot I need it. Uh, it's right between this red here. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Yeah. Okay, you can't see it all too good, but this right here, above my fingernail, is a Kenya tree. And it's fragged itself and found the place between this Fiji rock here, so. I guess this where gonna stay until I decide it gets big enough to take it off. Um, the Zanias, where they are, move closer to the top, seeing what they do, because most of them are gone. Um, usually these are wide open. In the video I originally made, they are open, so. But the whole rock fell, they come unglued, and yeah, so. They're right there. Usually they're open, they're closed now, so. But, um, I got a starfish in here. He's just a hitchhiker starfish. Um, not eating, not even eating my hard coral. Oh, yeah, it's, it's filling out as well, so it's got to be put back up, but. Yeah, that's for the hardcore. It's got to be put back up, so I may go ahead and do the the zoo in. I don't know, maybe, but yeah, that's them. Um, the filtration is doing good with it. Um, barrier, it's still got algae on it. It's just I don't worry about the barrier. But for a little refugium, um, this is the overview. I end up getting the lights are set right here on there, and I got this light and it's open top. Now, so, um, yeah, this is my, really this, the Trado, the Trado's getting the light from the white, and this rock's getting the blue, 
And these trucks get normally a blue, but there's some Chato in there as well. And um, there's live workers just Chato in there. And um, so that's it has some paint growing on it pretty good. It probably won't pick it up, but maybe, 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 maybe. Um, it's it got a little bit right around here. It's really, really, really fluorescent. So, um, but you can't see it. It's a pinkish color. As the tank with the blues on, um, the whole tank got pretty strong blues. But I'm planning on getting rid of these, getting rid of these, and going with two of these, two of these lights. So uh, that just two up in a row. I'm going completely open top of this glass piece here, and these will go on the ten gallons. So, yeah, no, I have LEDs on ten gallons. But inside of here, I have the um, can't really see it, but. Temperature at 78 with a probe. The probe is all the way over here now. It's all the way over here. So, probe's right there. Titanium heater's right there. The filter's down here. There's the thing. So, that's it with it. Um, so that's basically the wrap up with the salt water tank. It's starting to take care of itself a little bit more. I'm mean, a little more forgiving, but I'm planning on getting more hard coils. So, see how it goes with it. But, the blue is, is pretty deep, so, but it's giving it more of a, a gorgeous color blue, but that's the tank and all the corals and stuff, so, yeah, nothing's really fluorescent, trying to get fluorescent right now, but, yeah, that's the 30 gallon, so let's get started with the, uh, the other tanks where this video gets way too long. Okay, so here is this 10 gallon here, um, it's original lights put on, took off, and it got the crayfish's light. And um, they really tend to like it. Um, I don't. Well, I don't really see a difference, but it likes the tank a little better. Um, there is my little puffer. Um, he's hungry, so they're fixing to get fed. Um, there's the two gobies, the mating pair, and um, I believe they got some eggs somewhere in this in these leaf area back here. But I'm just not really bothering them. I don't really care if they spawn or not. But you know, they're they're really getting. They stay together a lot. I noticed, but yeah, that's that's the beta. He's doing good. Um, running two filters, still the protein thing up there. That's got to be wiped down every day, so I haven't done that. And yeah, that's basically all of them. They eat bloodworms, so let's get started on the uh, next one. Okay, sorry for such a mess, but it's it's my bedside table. I eat on this table and everything, and the tank's just having to be on it. But, um, this is actually a piece of wood put onto another table. So, what I was planning on doing with these two tanks is, um, after I buy the light for the saltwater tank, and I'm ordering a stand tomorrow, because I get paid tomorrow from work, so, um, I'm going to order their, them a stand, um, Newport stand, I think, or New Brooklyn, or something like that, stand from Petco, and I'm going to put, since his tank ain't that heavy, it'll be put in the middle of the Newport stand, the crayfishes will be at the top, and the bottom will be the crickets. So, um, that's probably how that will go. But, um, yeah, it's, I'm going to get her $30. They got 20% off right now. Free shipping on $50. I'm getting $13 off. So, but I also got a heat mat order for him and a thermometer for reptiles digital for him. So, um, that's going to do him off for the rest of it. And, um, so he's doing good. That's you can kind of see his eyes down there, but he just took down five crickets, and I'll probably post the feeding video. But yeah, that's him. Um, he just got the basics set up. I don't really care for light. It dries everything out way too quick. I come home, it's like 20, 20, so it's basically desert temperatures. I hate that. But I'm ordering the stuff. It'll be here. Um, I'm rocking 90 humidity now with almost 90 degree heat they can stand I think it's 89 is the highest so almost 90 but it's below 90 and that's not really accurate anyways but I'll have him fixed up here soon so but that's his tank um he's eating he'll be putting in his new thing and this is the heat lamp and this back here um I don't really have a use for it I might do actually a contest and, um, you know, I don't know what it'll be on, but it'll be the shipping. 
Y'all have to pay the shipping, but um, this is a brand new light. I was given to it for free by one of my grandma's bosses. And it's a Coral Life light. It's a T5, 4 foot long, 55 gallons. But it has these handles here. And, um, yeah, and it has, I mean, it's it's 2000K. It's a T5 fixture. And, um, it may focus in here, but it has really good reflectors and stuff on it. 10K bulb, like I said, it's a Coral Life bulb. It's a whole Coral Life fixture. It's $89. I got it for free. It's just a single strip. And, um, you know, just basically on. You know, that's it. That's it all for it now. And it lights up just a little desk lamp right here. Crayfish in this one. So, turn on. It um, lights both of them, gives that a pretty nice color. And this tank of color, and it gives me a little lamp here. But, um, I won't have a use for it, so you know, I'm going to stand for them. So, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. It's going to be gone. So, I don't know what I'll use it for. I can use it, or I'll do it in a contest. So, or I might give it to a friend. I don't know, but most likely will be in a contest. So, be looking forward to that. But, um,. Yeah, there's the crayfish. He'll be getting this thing in next month. About the first week of next month, maybe. And, um, yeah, that's his tank. He's doing good. He has blood worms. Um, I quit feeding the night crawlers because it's just, it's not the season to keep night crawlers, really. So, but that's them. That's his tank. And, uh, and really nothing changed other than the light. And I got, Put the glass panels up here from a salt water tank, so. But, that's the end this video. is like already hitting 11 minutes. So, um, I'm just going to wrap it up and say this has been Talks Aquariums. If you enjoy what I'm doing, um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So, uh, peace out.